Here I am preparing for Ironman Lake Placid tomorrow. So I've got all my gear set up here on this table and I'm organizing it to be put into transition bags. So what I'm gonna do is take you through all of my equipment and all of the things that I'll be using to help me get through my very first Ironman tomorrow. Well, let's start out here with this tri kit. This is what I'm gonna be wearing, hopefully for the duration. I've got a zoot suit, bottoms, and top two piece. Behind me, I have my wetsuit, Roka Maverick wetsuit, and that goes on. It's looking like tomorrow is going to be wetsuit legal, so it looks like we're gonna be wearing wetsuits tomorrow. With that being said, something to note, I have plenty of glide and kind of lubricant to make sure that I don't chafe. The wetsuit's actually really good. The only chafing spot I've got was a little on my neck, so I'm gonna make sure to kind of just coat my neck with this glide, and that's why it's really important to try this stuff out before you actually race with this stuff because I wouldn't have known that. Two pairs of goggles in case I have an issue with one of the goggles. This is my preferred pair here, this set of Speedo goggles. These are great. This is my backup. These are also good too. I put some uh, defog gel on them and that works really good. So no fogging. So two pairs of goggles in case something should happen. If one should get damaged, I'll have one on backup right up until the start of the race. Two swim caps. This one is provided by Iron Man. It's got my number on it and this is the one I've been training with and this is my backup. A small towel that's going to go in the transition bag as well. So when I transition from the swim to the bike, I can just make sure that I'm dry in all the right spots. Once I transition, let's see, we're going to be going on to the bike. So let's see what we've got for the bike. So first and foremost, I've got my Giro helmet here and it's got a built-in, you know, sunglasses and visor. So I don't need to worry about sunglasses. If for some reason it's rainy or it gets dark, I can take this off and then bam, slam it to the top there and I'm good to go. So I've got my helmet, Shimano bike shoes right here. Bam, so inside the bike shoes, I've got a pair of socks. I'm going with socks, at least my plan is to go with socks for now. So I've been using these socks, these are good. And then I also have my heart rate monitor, which I'll put on prior to. And inside the shoe, I also have my Garmin bike computer that has been programmed specifically for this course. Three bottles that are empty at the moment, but are going to be filled with my GoFar fuel. So what I'm gonna do is I really need two of these, but I'm going to put an extra bottle of fuel in my special needs bag. And so special needs bag is ultimately something that you can pick up halfway through the bike ride. And so in case I have an issue and I drop a bottle, I'll have an extra bottle of fuel in my special needs bag. Let's see, so now we transition into the run. At that point, I'm not gonna have my watch on, but I'm going to then put the watch on because I'm not going to be tracking the swim. I'm gonna be using the bike computer to track the bike, and then I'm gonna be using the watch to track the run. At that point, this goes on. So my race belt. On the back of the race belt, I've taped a couple Advil in case I need those, so I'll have those on deck. My run hat, my shades, an extra hair tie in case I need that. My running shoes here, and an extra pair of socks. I'm also gonna throw an extra pair of socks in to my run special needs bag in case I get through a half marathon and my feet are soaked. Also in my run bag, going to put these compression shorts. My goal is to run the entire course in my tri kit, but in case I get done with the bike and I just really need to change up and want to wear something more comfortable for the run, I'll sacrifice a couple minutes to put these on. I'm also going to be holding on to this handheld bottle here. Inside here, I'm going to be putting all of my run fuel. And let me take you through 
that really quick. I've got a box here of these Morton gels here, and this is my preferred run fuel. They also do provide these on the course, but I guess my thought process is I want to be fully equipped and control what I can control. I also have bought these honey stingers here. Basically the fuel that I have should get me through the day, but this will just be something to supplement if I need something, you know, a little bit more substantial than gel and, and you know, liquid. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the inside of my transition bags with these Ziploc bags just to ensure that everything stays dry should it rain because our transition bags are outside. They're plastic, but they're not perfectly sealed. So this will ensure that my run stuff and everything stays dry. So that's going to be great. In the special needs bag, I'm also going to put some chapstick. I have a couple of like sodium pouches just in case I have any issues with cramping. Also some salt tabs. I've got some safety pins that I might not bring because I think my race belt will do the job. Here are the transition bags. Soon enough, I'm going to be loading these up and dropping these off. Here's my bike and I will be using this for Ironman Lake Placid. I'm just going to quickly take you through what I got going on with this bike and how I chose to kind of set it up. I've got this torpedo hydration bottle here on the front that's mounted and I can be pouring my water every time I hit an aid station right into here. On the front here clips my bike computer. I've got disc brakes. I've got manual shifters. There's a pouch here that I have an extra tube. Two X-Lab bottle holders here. That's where my fuel is going to go. An X-Lab saddle pouch. Inside here I have my tire iron, another tube, three CO2 cartridges, and um, a CO2 tire inflator. Inside of this little compartment here, I have another tube. So I have three tubes, so I'm hoping I don't need to use any of them, but I've got them in case. Clip-in pedals, and I got a brand new tire here on the back, and I had this bike looked at by a professional and tuned up yesterday, so I'm feeling confident in this machine here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all that equipment, we're going to put it in transition bags, and we're going to be bringing that to Iron Man Village. So that's a quick rundown of the gear that's going to get me through. I pretty much said everything. There might be a few things here and there that I forgot to mention, but for the most part that's what I'm going to be using. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more Iron Man and training content and inspirational content if you want to clarify your purpose and unleash the fire within. Peace and love, everybody.